Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day number seven. All right, it's early. It's six thirty-five a.m. I'm up. Um, I'm not working today. I have a funeral to go to, and um, I'm getting ready to set Vlogmas Day number five to go live. And um, the funeral is in Fayetteville, so I've got to drive a couple hours. And I need to clean my house before I go to Fayetteville. So, I'm up. Coffee's on. Um, I'm going to get coffee going. I'm going to have coffee. There's so many exciting things are happening around here, y'all. Thing one, um, the tree guy's coming today to talk to me about this tree out here in Musco period the end no questions asked it must go so that tree is gonna go i'm actually gonna get him to give me an estimate on the tree line over here in the back of the yard because it just produces so many doggone pine needles and blah 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 just trees that really just don't need to be there i mean it's no no it's no it's not doing anything and then we have storms so bad that you know when we have hurricanes and stuff Um, I don't want to be worrying about trees damaging, you know, anything. So I'm going to get him to give me an estimate on getting that down. Um, after that, I'm going to get an estimate on finish out the fence. So again, all I need, you know how when you're looking directly at somebody's house, you're coming up in their driveway and they have the fence on this side of the house and on this side, of the, that's all I need to finish out the fence on my my house because there's a fence on this side there's a fence behind me my neighbor just put up a fence over here and then there's a little bit where my they're not my neighbor but i'm their back neighbor even though my house doesn't face their house it's all weird but they had a fence there relatively small fence and it fell down in the storm It fell down in Florence, and so I'm going to see what it costs to put that one back. To put that, because I do need that little bit, but it's not much at all. Just to kind of keep ma'am from going into their yard. Um, but that, just one little piece there, it's not even a whole side of the yard. It's just a small section. And then the two pieces that go to the front with the gate. Um, so I'm going to get the fence company out to see what that would be and um my next big savings goal because i'm getting the dryer fixed is to save up enough to get flooring done in the living room to pull out this carpet in the living room in the hallway and then to get some floor and put down so that's my next big thing is to see what that would would run me um and just to see how much it would cost to be installed And then I'll just save for it. So I'm going to give myself about a year to save for it. And um, prayerfully, that will will do us. Um, I'm trying to put my heating pad on and I didn't plug it in right. Lord have mercy. Here we go. Because it usually heats pretty fast. Alright. So the kids are in the bed. I'm not going to wake them. I'm going to put you guys down on the tripod. I mean, on my computer. Um. So what I planned in this vlog, I was thinking, like, how can I, because I'm still trying to keep my regular schedule of posts, but it doesn't work during Vlogmas. So I'm going to set a video then I'm actually going to get you guys set up so I can do the budget update. I'm going to throw that in. And um, then we're going to clean. I actually have clothes and stuff that I need to put away in my bedroom. I'm contemplating moving my bedroom around again, but I don't really want to do that. It'll be good for cleaning purposes. Of course, the dog sleeps under the bed. So I, if I move the bed, I'm by default going to go ahead and clean under there. But I don't really want to do all that. So I may just leave it the way it is and live with it. It's not bad. 
It's just sometimes you need a little change, but I can be fine. I'm going to put another blanket on because at night it is cold in there. And I have a couple blankets on, but they're not like for warmth. They're just for looks. So I'm going to put a warmer blanket underneath. Um, um, and um, yeah, I feel like you can't see in this lighting and I'm not going to get any new lighting either. So let me get this video put up. Get my call. I know for sure somebody's going to be up in a minute. They hear me and they come running. Um, Jackson's got trash all over the house to get up. They need to clean their bathroom. Um, so we are going to do that today. Cleaning out bathrooms. Um, I need to make beds. And I really just need to deal with my clothes in my bedroom. Because I haven't had time to do it this week. And the, like I said, the main thing is just my time. I'm, I'm, I was working late these last, whenever I go to work, I'm trying to either go early or go later. To, I mean, stay later, go early or stay later to make up some um, flex hours. And it's not even like it's a lot of hours, but by the time I work 30 minutes over to fill in a slot, I'm rushing home to get Jackson to get him to Taekwondo because his class starts at a certain time. So he's learning, when he went to the new dojong, he had to learn all of their, all of their curriculum. Even though they're recognizing his second degree black belt, he had to learn all their stuff because it was different than what he was learning before. So he's getting to the point now where they are actually going to be able to move him up to the other class, to the class he should be in. Um, and at this point, I'm prayerful that it happens soon because it changes my time. So my Tuesdays won't be so pressed um, and we'll still be able to make church. As we go at 4.30 now and Tuesdays will be a 5.30 class. So even if I had to stay later to work, you know, to flex hours, I still have a whole hour and a half before I'm rushing trying to figure out how to get him to places. Um, and then the Thursday class is different. Or we can take a Friday class and then sparring. So I could even go down to two days a week. You can take three classes per week. So I could even go to two days a week if I do the Friday before class plus the sparring plus a Tuesday. Or I could do Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I would much prefer to do two days and just go Tuesday and Friday because Friday I don't have to work the next day. And we're still out. So I think he would go like at 5.30. And we're done like at 7-ish something. Perfect fine for me. Because he's done multiple classes back to back at the other place. So he, he's used to that. But as of right now, he is just not um, moved up to that next level class. So anywho, I'm going to set this video out before 7. Yeah, I got about 15 minutes to get it done. And then I'm going to jump into filming the budget update because I just got a child support deposit this morning. And um, I want to be able to go ahead and get this all squared away and taken care of. And then I can move on with my cleaning because I do have to drive two hours. So I don't want to be cleaning up until it's time for me to leave. And I do have to shower. I've got to get dressed. I'm going in my civic attire this morning. I'm going as clergy. Um... And um, I, do, I do have a new shirt with a new collar because I'm not no longer a minister. I'm an ordained pastor now, so I've got to change. I've been an ordained pastor. Um, January will be two years, but um, I had never changed my collar, which I go, I'm go. i going from a tab to a full collar. Um, my dad just sent it to me, so I, I paid for it, but he orders. I just get in on his order when he ordered it. He sent it to me by my sister when she was there to see her family couple weeks ago so and I just got it on Sunday so I'm gonna try that today and see um I gotta find my jacket and my skirt so I have a couple things to do it sounds like a lot but it won't take me long once the kids get up and we start moving in the direction of things that need to be done so anywho I'm gonna set this video get my life together in Jesus name 
Alrighty, you guys. So we are working on, uh, this is our budget update. So I wanted to make sure that I update everybody on what has come in. And I know I haven't done a budget update because we've been doing Vlogmas. So I was not able to um, get the budget updated before now, but here I am. And I'm um, just calculating um, child support. So we got a child support payment that came in today. And today is um, 12, 16, came in for 216, 46. And so that's going to put our total here at 729. here I'm gonna put us at 729.44 now what I'm gonna talk about is that child support that came in today I'm also going to talk about this $500 for the child tax credit so um, moving into this week because of course today is the 16th um, I am going to update you and fill in our expenses so today is Thursday I'm actually going to a funeral today so I'm not working, but we didn't have very many expenses, which is a beautiful thing. And partly that is because uh, we've been doing such a great job. I say great job, but the Lord has helped us to be able to uh, manage our finances. So for that child support that came in today, I'm going to just do today real fast, and then I'll come back and update you about the 500. So I did $22 in tithe. Um, moving up to the kids' savings. Um, see if I can find the kids. Okay, that is probably back down here in personal expenses. Yes, so I'm going to do 50 for the kids. Of course, I always do $50 out of their child support. Now, really, we don't have any additional bills that need to be paid. There's no piano lessons because her piano teacher actually gifted her a less their uh, meetup yesterday. They didn't even have a lesson. It was just a meeting after the recital, after the program to see what they're going to be working on for the new year. So no piano lesson. That's going to leave us $144 in um, child support. So what I'm going to do, I don't have any um, gas I need. I don't have any grocery money that I need to get out. I'm going to put that money into my savings account. And the reason I'm doing that is because I upfront the kids, I upfront the kids, um, all of their lessons and that type of thing, with the exception of piano, I take that out each week. But I upfront dance, I upfront um, taekwondo, which has gone up a little bit since we switched gyms. And so I put my savings on the back burner. Totally no problem, it's all fine. But um, I want to make sure that I am able to recoup some savings at some point. So um, that's how that money is all rolling out. It gives me almost $400 in savings this month, which is a goal for me. So the child tax credit that came in yesterday, which was the 15th, I did 500 in tithe. I did um, 200 in, um, this is, it says blow money. But this is going to be for a few little Christmas gifts, not my kids, but other people that I have not been able to finish with. And then I did put $250 into savings um, yesterday. So I'm only getting my savings started yesterday. With the exception of um, gas that I went in on went Tuesday, and then my um, chiropractor bill came out at $95. And then I also had my $25 health wage gym come out. So if I pop us back over to our budget sheet, that puts us at, for the um, month so far, $4,219.67 of what has come in. Everything that has gone out, that gives us, it tells me I'm in the hole, $4.35. However, I am not in the hole. I still have some money in my savings account, in my checking account. Alrighty, you guys. So there it is. That's kind of a quick budget update. It's just really quick because a lot is going on with Vlogmas. Um, once Vlogmas is over, of course, we'll get right back to um, regularly scheduled budget updates every week um, as, they, as things come in. One thing that I did not put on the budget sheet at all was a windfall. 
Um, and I, I don't know why I don't put those things on there. It's just not money that I can count on or money that I was anticipating at all. So I was sitting at church um, at, on Sunday. I was sitting at church and um, we just got done with the offering. I, of course, I sing, so I was coming to sit back down. And one of the girls came over. To, she does the offering stuff. So she came over to me and she said, hey, I want to see you after church. I said, okay, sure, sure, sure. Normally I leave. I t get Alana. I leave. Uh, take her to work. And then if, if I don't have to get Jack, if he's doing youth group, I leave Jackson. I just come on home. Um, but we got out a little earlier this week, so I didn't have to leave right after. So after church, she came over and she whispered in my ear. She said, um, somebody um, gifted you $500. And that my whole mouth was like, what? What, what in the world? So... Um, totally taken, taken aback. Like, oh my God, wow, that is a blessing. That is a total blessing to my life and to my family. Um, so I went ahead and did Todd. She said, I'll PayPal you after, you know, after I get everything worked out. Cause I needed to go on and do stuff. And I had been waiting for, um, this money to come in this week because I was going to do our annual, you know, we always do an annual, um, Christmas gift to the church. And um, I was waiting for this week. And Sunday was the deadline, but I had already talked to her. I said, hey, I'll, I have some money on Tuesday. Let me do it Tuesday. And she was like, no, that's fine. So when that came in, I told her to go ahead and take $50 out for tithe off that $500 and to go ahead and take $100 out for the Christmas gift. So I left over $150 and she PayPal'd me over um, $350. Now, one of the things about PayPal um, if you say it's for goods and services, they tax, they put a fee on it, not tax it. They put a fee on it. So I actually got three thirty nine thirty nine. But if you say family and friends, there's no fee. So if anybody ever wants to send a PayPal, not that I'm saying you have to send a PayPal, I'm not saying that, but some people do. So if you say family and friends, there's no fee because I'm not offering any services here for pay, <laughs> nothing. Um, but that was still a blessing to my life. So the $340, I just added in the change and took that much out of the bank. A um, hundred, I'm having a, I'm having a leadership luncheon on Saturday for some of the ladies that helped me in my Titus II group. I'm going to pay for their lunch. Um, we're driving up to Durham. I'm going to pay for their lunch and um, we're going to drive back. I am going to go get my nails done. Um, I have this growth underneath, like my nail, my real nails are growing and I don't love that. So I'm going to get my nails done and I'm going to get my feet done. I'm going to treat myself to something nice that I enjoy. Um, I don't have to get my hair done. I already got that done. And then um, I wanted to have just a little bit of cash on hand just in case we needed anything. With the um, child tax credit, I went ahead and put money in the savings did tithe, and then, of course, took some money out for Christmas. So I want to be able to finish up. I think I got two more, two more gifts, I think. Two more gifts, I think, that I have to do, um, that I need to go ahead and do. And I just ran out of extra Christmas money. Um, I like to, I like to, I like to gift gifts, right? This year, my tree looks really sp sparse because I didn't do gifts for the big kids. That's perfectly fine. Um, they're actually getting money, and they're going to be fine with that. They are they are adult people. They need money. It's all perfect. No problem. Um, and we're also going to give Trandon's girlfriend uh, some as well. So we're doing that. And, um, yeah, Shamika will be here later. She's going to help the kids finish up their Christmas list with a few things because I need to just be here, not running around. So that's going to help me out. See, y'all just need, sometimes you just need a second pair of hands or a second person who can drive. So if she goes on and takes the kids for an hour, even if it's just 30 minutes to an hour, I can get so much done here that I need to get done that doesn't have me wrapped up driving because <laughs> it always ends up being longer than what I think because we always got a few places we need to hit and I, I ruined the experience for the kids because they really want to have their experience and I really want to do what I got to do over here <laughs> so um anyway 
we're gonna live our best life all is going to be well so i was extremely excited about that that um i was i was in awe that someone would think highly of me and um you know send that because i'm not anybody special i'm just shakima i just go and i do and i love on folks and i try to be helpful where i can and um i can get on people's nerves i can do all the things <laughs> so i'm multi-talented but for somebody to say hey i and i don't know who it was i don't i don't even want to speculate because then i'll get it all wrong but i'm thankful for it it was unexpected and it met a need which meant that the money that came in for child support all the needs were met we got gas this week um and if i need to get a little more gas i've got cash now i don't have to debit it out of my account um the kids are still going to get their portions for their accounts we still have one more child support to come in um all of Christmas is done. We got groceries and we got our prep stuff that's going to help with groceries. I will do next week's grocery haul will be Christmas groceries, right? We do an annual Christmas breakfast. So that will be that haul. I stayed in my budget this week for groceries. Woo, woo, woo. Um, and I haven't, I haven't done any random spending. So to be out of debt, I know I talk about this all the time, but to be out of debt is such a blessing to not only you, but your family, your finances. There's no pressure, there's no stress. The guy's coming over today to talk about the tree that's coming out of the bonus that we're getting from our county. Plus there's an additional bonus that's coming from the state. So that's gonna take care of the fence. And then in January, we get another bonus. So bless the Lord, that's gonna be money for the savings, right? So I'm gonna take care of the fence and the tree in this bonus, I, I pray I'm able. And then the bonus in January, that's going to either go in savings or do the floors. I'm trying to de determine. And we still have our YouTube income that hasn't come in. And I've already paid Mr. Jerome for the trees. Y'all, so whatever comes in, net, net, whatever comes in now, because we don't have any more piano until the first of the year. So there's going to be extras. I'm trying to build that savings. Baby step number three is my main focus for 2022, as well as doing the floors in the house. I want to do the floors and I think I want to paint. Um, I'm going to just, I'm going to plan it out. I'm going to save up. If the Lord wants to bless me, I'm going to let him. Um, but I'm going to take all of this carpet out, at least in this main room. And um, so that, because Jackson's nose is now starting to run. Hey, y'all, is it allergy shot day? That's tomorrow. Is tomorrow allergy shots? It's got to be. I'm going to call and see. I think tomorrow's allergy shots. Because the next week is going to be Christmas week. And I, they're going to be closed. Huh? Yeah, they're going to be closed. So I'm going to call to see what day we need. I think it's this Friday. If not, it's next Friday. But they're going to be closed. So we're going to have to go. Either tomorrow or we're going to have to go Wednesday. And I don't even know if they open on Wednesday. Because they're not open on Wednesday. Not the one we go to. They're, they're, that location is not open on Mondays and Wednesdays. So they go to different locations, but this one is not open on Wednesdays. So we're going to have to either go. And I got to work late. Mm, 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 mm. But Shamiko be, mm. but I'm going to have my car. Okay. Mm. Okay, I have to figure that out. Okay. The tree guy's coming at 8.30. I'm going to go throw some clothes on so at least I'm decent when he comes. I'm going to do a few things in my bedroom before he gets here. And then we're going to um, get ready for the... Bum, bum. Careful. Bum, bum. Okay, let's see if we can get it plugged. I gotta find my plug. Oh, back here. Back here. Get back there, John. Maybe go through that side. You see it? Where'd you get those leggings from? I don't know. Oh, Nadine wants these and Nadine wants leggings. 
Where do we get all our leggings from? Anyway. Alrighty, you guys. So we have a, um, this is a fast heating wide angle oscillating digital temperature control, low noise, portable electric space heater. So it's digital. Did you get it plugged in, babe? I just need you to hold this. Oh, I'm hold what? Plug it in from the other side. My hand can't fit. Hold what, babe? Just hold it right Oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. So we don't have a lot of plugs in our garage. We only have one, actually. And it's over here on this side wall. But we're not out in the garage quite a lot anyway. Um, but when we do come out here, this is not temperature controlled. So it is cold. Um, so we had a uh, company reach out to us and ask us about um, previewing their um, heater, which for us really works because like I said, when we come out to the garage, it's, it's nippy out. And this is not one of our coldest days. So for us, I'd rather have something out here. Now we're not out here a lot. Because um, when we come out, usually we're cleaning something or moving something. And of course, I still have all my school stuff that I got to go through. So we're just going to show you this. I just want to see if it will heat, you know, how much of this small portable, uh, of this small area that it will heat. It's a small heater. And if it don't work here, I'm taking it to work because I be cold. And I'm at three different schools. So I can leave one in here and one there and one and one. And one. <laughs> I'm going to be all right. Um but it is digital so we are going to turn it on and right on top of it you can see what your degrees is and so what i can do is i'm going to adjust this to about 72 if i want it to move then i can hit that button right there which that is so neat and i feel that heat already i mean can i just tell you the heat is on mm, mm, mm. Okay, so I love that. Um, let's see. That's low. That low or that will be the fan. No more heat but the fan. No, we don't need any of that. So if I'm going to be out here for just a few minutes, I'm going to leave it on high. Of course, this will not be unattended. There will be somebody in here. So if the kids and I are working on a project, we can just bring this little heater. We can um, actually just turn it on. And right here on this shelf because we have space we are actually going to put it on the shelf just to sit when we're not using it so when we are using it we're going to leave it on the floor we don't want to leave it on that uh, plastic shelf because this is uh heat so that is how we're going to do that and it does like i said it oscillates it moves back and forth which is really good now let me see if i move it okay if i move it it still is on i do have one that if you even move it at all it cuts itself off automatically but I'm going to turn the oscillation back on just because we want to try to heat up this space as much as we can. And again, we're not trying to heat the whole, you know, garage for hours and hours. It's just so that we can be out here. And I feel that heat like it's on the floor. I'm all the way over here and I can feel the heat rising up to my face. So it is floor level, but that heat is rising. Do you feel it at all, Jack? Mm -hmm. Not really. Not really. So you're standing a little bit of ways. Also, if we close the garage door, it's not the heat won't be going into the house where the cool is going into the house right now. So I'm positive that if we let this run while we're out here, 10, 15, 20 minutes, however long, we would be nice and toasty um, in this garage. So anywho, there's going to be a link in the description box below of where you can purchase it for Amazon. There's a 20 um percent off disc oh there's a 20 dollar discount and that discount is good until the 28th of december so i'll leave all that information um down in the description box below i think i said it right um where you can check that out it's not big at all it's really pint sized but it's giving a good punch because like i said i'm feeling it, the heat here where i'm standing from there and we just turned it on so again if we leave it on for a couple minutes while we're out here working because sometimes we're in and out in and out or I'll say, okay, y'all, we're getting ready to go out into the garage. We can come out, turn it on, and then do what we got to do, bring stuff out here, and then it's already ready to go by the time we, we come out. So, anywho, take a look at that in the description box below and see what you think.
Alrighty, y'all. So I'm back from the funeral. Um, I was blessed to be able to go and actually uh, got a chance to read a scripture while I was there. Um, I didn't know I was going to do that, but um, it, I did. Um, she totally did not know I was coming because I wasn't sure if I was going to be off from work. And um, I didn't tell her because I didn't want her to know or be disappointed if I was not able to come. Um, but with this one thing in the box can come out. This can go back where the um, other boxes are. Alana, come help us, please. This is just going to be trash. Are you taking your meds in the morning? Because we really should be over that cough. We really should be over that cough by now. Um, so... What I'm going to do now, because I am tired, I spent more time driving than anything. This is about an hour and a half each way, so three hours driving. And the service was pretty significant. It was it was a minute. Um, but I am home now, and I just um, got a few things that I need to get done. First of all, coffee. But first, that coffee up there is probably cold. We're going to get the rest of these clothes put up off of my bed. I'm totally out of room for shoes, which I don't, I don't understand. I, I don't know nothing about that life. I don't know nothing about it. These shoes are in my room. I don't wear a size 11 for nobody. I don't, I don't, I don't know nothing about that life. So, um, I'm going to get changed. But this is my official new clergy shirt because I am ordained now. So I go from the, in my dad's church in South Carolina, you go from the tab to the collar, to the full collar. And um, I did have a jacket on, took that off. But I'm going to get in some relaxed clothes. I had two pieces of toast this morning and I did stop at a gas station and pick something up because I had not eaten anything all day. But I'm going to try to get something to eat now and just sit down and get my life together. Okay, y'all. Oh, let me get let me get some lighting. Sorry, y'all. There we go. That's something. So here's the true reality of my life, right? I'm just tired. I'm done. What's wrong, sister? What happened? Uh-oh. Yes. So I'm back home now. Changed my clothes. Thank the Lord. Sitting on this pillow. Well, I semi changed my clothes. I still got my pearls on, still got my bracelet on. And um, I'm actually going to sit in, sit in my chair and mind my business. You know what would be so lovely is if we, we had those Brussels sprouts done. We could have put them in the um in the oven with the cauliflower to go with the ribs. Well, it ain't done yet. Trying to. Anywho, I'm gonna sit in this chair and not do anything for at least the next hour. Oh, y'all, let's drop off. Here's your mouse, sister. Mouse. 
here's my plan. It's just about five o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. Please, please, please don't forget that little oscillating heater. I'll have information down in the description box below if you're interested. Go ahead and click the link. Get you one. Like I said, I think. And it also has a timer too on there. So I think you can set the timer for how long you want it to run. And then it will shut itself off. What we did do is we made sure to unplug it because we didn't want it to like pop itself on for no reason. So what we're planning to do is if we know we're going out there to work, like I'll be in the kitchen sometimes doing stuff, we'll go ahead and set the heater on. And uh, by the time we get out there, it'll be nice and at least warm. It's not that chill off because it's not um, heated at all out there in the garage, which is fine. Update two, um, the tree is coming down. I already have an appointment for the tree. Now I have another, I have 11 trees in the backyard. And in order for those trees to come down, he said it was 4,500. So that's not my priority right now. I may actually have them prune them a little, at least just kind of prune them and just leave them where they are, but at least get some of those longer branches so they're not, you know, going over into somebody else's yard. Um, so I may have that done and just leave them. But that's not a priority today. Today, the biggest priority is getting that um, one tree out of the front yard. And then um, I want to be able to get the carpets out of this living room to just put some laminate down. Um, something that's not going to scuff or scratch or anything like that. I want to be able to go ahead and, and do that. So that's going to be a goal for 2022. I'm going to grab my coffee because I want to drink it well in me. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, video edited so that I am working on my um, next days, right? So I've got a couple more videos that I've got to get done. And um, and I want to make sure that um, I just take a few minutes to rest because I'm tired. Not that I've done anything overly special, but I'm just, you know, I'm just a little tired right now. So that's perfectly fine. I can be tired. I really can. And I am. So yeah, I'm going to end this vlog, call a vlog here. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and joining us. Thank y'all for being around our crazy family. We just always have a lot going on. You know what I mean? Uh, but that is just par for the course. It's, it is what it is. So anywho. We are very thankful to have you stop by and hang out with us. We love you guys. If you like the video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.